One of the things we like to do in our house is make lovely Christmas gift baskets for our neighbours and some selected friends. And that's what we're going to do here today. I was going to do it on my own, but Arlo has decided he wants to help, don't you Arlo? Yes. Excellent. Good. So first of all, we're going to start with a bit of Christmas Rocky Road. That's from this book, Nigella Christmas, which is one of my two favourite Christmas cookbooks, along with Delia's Happy Christmas. Uh, but we're going to start with the Rocky Road because it has to refrigerate for a bit. What's this, Arlo? Chocolate. Yeah, we're starting off with some chocolate in this. This is some dark chocolate, calling for 250 grams of dark chocolate. So I'm just going to break that up a bit. Chuck it in. Can you, do you know what number 250 looks like? Yeah. Okay, that one's a bit full. Do you want to taste some of this? It's dark chocolate. I don't know if you like it. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Nice, not nice? So 250 grams of dark chocolate, now we need 150 grams of milk chocolate. This is the chocolate you will like, Arlo. We need 175 grams of butter. Now I consider myself the butter king of Norwich. I think I'm an expert in measuring exactly how much butter we've got. So I reckon I can nail 175 grams. Come on, here you come. Oh my God. Can you see this? It's exactly 175. The Butter King of Norwich has done it again. It's exactly right, isn't it, Arlo? 175. Yeah. That is amazing. That is unreal. Next we add four tablespoons of golden syrup. Arlo, you can help with this if you want. Do you want to hold that over there? Yeah. So hold it above it. And when I say tip, tip it in. Okay, tip it in. Good job. I'm just going to put this on the hob now to melt nice and gently. Next, amaretti biscuits. And it says to make sure you get the hard ones, not the soft ones in the recipe. I've never made Rocky Road before, but I imagine it's going to turn out brilliantly. So I'm going to put some of these in the bag. Do you want to help put them in the bag? Yeah. Okay. okay, so this is the fun bit, Arlo. I'm gonna tie it, I'm gonna tie this up. Now, do you know what this is called? What is it? A basher. A basher? Yeah. It's a rolling pin, but you can smash things with it. So we're gonna use it to smash the biscuits. So can you smash the biscuits? Oh, they've exploded. <laughs> Silly biscuits. <laughs> Okay, good smashing. I'm going to break them up with my hands instead. It's very easy, I think. No, are exploding, Arlo. Mm -hmm. Careful. They're naughty. They are naughty biscuits. After you crush that, we're doing the same with some Brazil nuts as well. 150 grams of shelled Brazil nuts. So we'll give that a go. Ah, oh, these are already pretty crushed up already, so that's easy. We don't have to do that. Uh, now we need all the cherries. These are glazed cherries. Have you ever had a glazed cherry, Arlo? Nice. Yeah. Then 125 grams of mini marshmallows, which is almost all this pack. If there's any left over, Arlo, you can eat them. Deal? Yeah. Wait, some falls. Some falling out? Yeah, that's why I'm grabbing them. Now that's all melted, so I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm going to add these bits to it and give it a little mix around. I'm also going to add some of these golden sprinkles that I got from uh, Waitrose because I think they might look quite nice in them if they don't just melt and die. We'll see. So I'm just mixing everything up now to coat it in the chocolate. So it's a nice chocolatey, biscuity, marshmallowy, fruity mix. A little spoon. How's that? Good. And I'm just going to sprinkle on some of these over the top as well. Okay, and now we're going to put these in the fridge for a bit uh, to chill, and then they're pretty much ready. The Rocky Road's in the fridge chilling, and we're going to get on to sausage rolls. So, uh, quite simple this. Uh, this is from a Delia Smith recipe, but I cheat and I don't 
make my own pastry because I tried it once and it was dreadful. So I just used pre-bought pastry, which I always find pretty good. Uh, just packs of sausage meat. Oh, this is sausage meat stuffing. Yeah, that's different. I'll just put it in. Then I'll just get an onion, uh, peel it, cut the ends off and all that stuff. And then we're going to grate it. Adding a bit of sage to these, so just going to pick up a few sage leaves, uh, cut them up a bit and chuck them in. You right, Otto? You coming to help? Do Making sausage rolls. Can I help? Are sure. you going to put these in? Uh, yeah, this is sage. We always, I always put these in sausage rolls. It's not just leaves from the garden, it's, it's a herb. You wash your hands, you can help. Next, once you've got with nice clean hands, it's just a case of getting in there and mixing it up. I sometimes add a bit of nutmeg to this, but I'm, I'm not, can't be bothered today. Um, and I don't add any salt and pepper because I find sausage meat tends to be salt and peppery enough. Just put your hands in and just mix it all up. And don't put your hands near your mouth once you've done it because you can get germs. So really give it a good mix up. So next it's puff pastry. Delia makes his own, Robbie doesn't. Uh, and we just put that on a... Or just roll it out, we don't have to put it on a tray yet. Put that there. And you can choose how big your sausage rolls are going to be. I'm going to make them with your fingers, Harley. So I'm going to put, just cut this into little slices here and here. And the next thing we need to do, Arlo, is we need to make a big little line of sausage along there. So if I show you, if you get a handful of this out and don't put your hands in your mouth once you've got it, I just need to make it into a little, little sausage thing there. While my sous chefs are doing that, I'm just going to break an egg into this dish and beat it a bit. And we can use that as a little egg wash over the top. You don't have to do that, but it doesn't give it a nice, like, glow to it. I like cracking egg. I like cracking egg. No, I'm going to do it. You, you, you're doing that job. So once you've got your sausage middly bits, you just can roll it over and form it into a sausage roll. I think people would rather be watching Fortnite. People would rather be watching Fortnite than this. But you're probably right. That's the good thing about the internet that they've got the option to go and watch Fortnite if they want. So now we just chop it into little sandwiches here. And then all we do here with these, we just go and do a little snip, snip, which gives it that nice little pattern on the top. Go on, I'll tell you, start snipping. So just two snips on each one like I've done there, okay? So Arlo, this is an egg wash. So it's basically, I've beaten an egg in here. Can you see that? Oh, don't want it to spill. There we go, just beat the egg in there. And we're just going to use this, and we just do, put the brush in, and each one you just go a little, little brush on the top. Not too much, just a little brush on the top. That was too much, I got that wrong. The sausage rolls are out of the oven and I've transferred them to this wire cooling rack to cool down while we're going to make some parmesan twists with sesame and poppy seeds. Another bit of puff pastry, again, cannot be bothered to make it myself or have the skills to do so and we're going to just brush it with this, almost a bit much, with this egg wash again. Okay, we're just going to take some poppy seeds and so just do a little sprinkle over, over this. create a poppy extravaganza. Sesame seeds I'm going to go for a hand sprinkle, just mix it up a little bit, you know. I'm not beholden to Delia. Now I'm just going to grate a bit of parmesan on top of that as well to make them cheesy, seedy treats. I'm going to pop this in the fridge to chill for a bit so it's easier to twist. Okay, while it's chilling, we're going to make some cookies. So we've got 90 grams of uh, butter. This one's from the Nigella book. Now, we're just going to add into it uh, 100 grams of caster sugar, golden caster sugar. Just because that's all I've got in the cupboard. Oh my God. I'm just going to get that in there. I'm just going to cream it all together. I'm just going to use this here. Don't know if that's the best thing to cream with. This is too hard, so I'm just going to use the food processor. Okay, I'm officially declaring that butter and sugar creamed. I'm now going to beat in an egg. It's adding half a teaspoon of baking powder. 
teaspoon of vanilla extract, 200 grams of plain flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and then back in the mixer. Put it in the mixer! Okay, so we biscuit doughs all mixed up. Now we're gonna get a bit more flour out. Actually open it. And here. Just made a couple of little discs. This here, wrap up in cling film, put them in the fridge for a bit so they can harden up and we can roll them out on here. While waiting for that to chill, we can return to our parmesan things. We're gonna slice these into little strips now, just along in lines that we're gonna make into our little twists. Cheesy poppy seeds, sesame seed twists. So I'm gonna try transferring these chilled strips onto a baking tray one by one and then it's just a case of twisting so there we go that's them all rolled out and made to look lovely and now we can put those in the oven and hopefully they'll cook i was supposed to put some seasoning in this I've just noticed from the recipe salt and pepper but i didn't do it doesn't matter it's not me eating them so it's not a big deal Okay, so that's them cooked. You can see that there. Um, so I'm just gonna leave those to cool and then they'll be lovely little cheese strawy things. Got the, the dough we chilled out earlier. A bit of more flour out down. And we're just gonna roll this out so we can make biscuits, cookies. They've done stars. The only cookie cutters I've got are love hearts. So we'll do some of these. So let's try that. Don't we really do much baking normally, so yeah, this little heart. It's quite excited to be doing it, to be honest. It's lots of lovely heart-shaped biscuits. So in order to take these to our neighbours and friends, Kitty and her friend Emma have painted little boxes. Merry Christmas. Stuff like that on them. Aren't they fantastic? So I found some old Christmas napkins in the cupboard. I can use to line the inside of them. They're not in the best state, but they're better than nothing. It's all right, isn't it? That's the cookies done, and we'll just transfer these over onto a cooling rack again to cool down. So while those are cooling, we can revisit our old friend Rocky Road, who's looking absolutely magnificent now. So we need to get this out of the foil, which shouldn't be too hard, because it's been in a for quite a while and then we can use this just to cut a knife just to cut it into decent sized chunks. Finally I've got this little gold luster spray I'm just, just going to spray a little bit of over the top to give it a little golden appeal. I'm just going to do the same with the biscuits as well and give them a little spray of this gold to make them glitter a bit. So that's everything done now and it's just a case of dividing them up and putting them in the boxes I think so I should put in the straws first of all because they're the longest and then we can work around them a few sausage rolls a few biscuits do you know what it's just enough room to chuck a cheeky little binday brewing beer in as well here we go there we go, my nice box of treats for the neighbours all nicely done. I'm sure we can all agree that it won't be long before I am on Bake Off after this terrific performance. Hope you're having a brilliant run up to Christmas, back on Christmas Day with our Christmas special walking video with none other than Zach Alsop from the Zach and Jay show now, just the Zach show. Thanks for watching. Bye.